Today I'm going to talk about the sonic, that is sound devices and poetry of alliteration, consonants, and assonance. And I'm going to do it in the context of a short poem by Lord Tennyson, The Eagle. He clasped a crag with crooked hands, close to the sun in lonely lands, ringed with the azure world he stands. The wrinkled sea beneath him crawls, he watches from his mountain walls, and like a thunderbolt he falls. All right, now let's talk about the sonic devices, and I'm going to use different colors for each one. Alliteration is a repetition of consonant sounds at the beginning of a word or at the first accent of syllable of a word. So let's see what we have here. Um, first line, even though we have three words uh, beginning with C, it's really the CR in crag and crooked. That's repeated. All right, so that's an example of alliteration. Um, we have to clasp close, close class, that's also alliteration here. Alliteration doesn't have to occur in the same line or even in words that are um, next to each other. It's just words that are close enough that the ear will pick up the similarities, right? Um, some lonely lands, indeed we have another example. Ring with the azure world he stands. The wrinkled sea beneath him crawls, we have the CR again. Watches from his mouth and walls. All right, we have alliteration here with watches and walls, and like a thunderbolt, he falls. Okay, so there are examples of alliteration. Uh, the next is consonants. The difference between consonants and alliteration is um, rather than appearing at the beginning of a word or at the first syllable of the word, consonants occurs as a repetition of a consonant sound at the end of a word or in the middle of a word. So, what do we have? Hands. We have sun and lonely, and actually that'll be the first case there. Uh, ring with the azure world he stands. Wrinkled neat. We have that end sound again. Watches from his mountain walls and like a thunderbolt he falls. So we have a repetition of end sounds throughout this. Lastly is acid. Assonance is rather than a repetition of a consonant sound, it's a repetition of a vowel sound. And that's what we have. In the first line, we have the A, right? In flaps, we have in crags, and the A in hands. Close to the sun and lonely, we have the, this A again, lands. Ringed with the agile world, he stands. And by the way, um, I say that. And here is also another example of consonants. Uh, the wrinkled sea beneath them crawls. All right, you can hear the repetition of the long E sound from that. Even though wrinkled has an I, you know, the sound is a long E sound. So that's an example of assonance, as is C, B, B. So plenty of, of assonance in that line. Um, watches from his mountain walls. You know, we have the A in watches, A in walls, and like a thunderbolt, he falls. All right? Um, and I'd also say, like, the L here and these L's, that's almost a combination of alliteration and consonants, but it's a repetition of a, of a sound that the ear will pick up. All right, it's those um, devices that give this short poem so much music. Note also, how much figurative language is used in the poem. You know, we have great examples of personification and of simile. Um, he claps the crab with crooked hands, he being the eagle. He, eagles don't have hands, they have claws. So crasping it with hands is a form of personification. Um, close to the sun and lonely lands, when he with the azure world he stands. Wrinkled sea beneath him crawls. The sea is personified. The sea doesn't crawl, right? The crawling sea is a form of personification. Um, he watches from his mouth and walls, and like a thunderbolt, he falls. You know, that is a simile comparing the eagle, like swooping down after a prey to a thunderbolt falling from the sky. Now, a beautiful poem, a lot of music in this poem. You know, the ear will pick that up, and that is actually a very good example of how one poem can use very elements of poetic devices to give it a very sonic and a very picturesque um, quality of imagery. All right, thank you.